top of that. There we go. That's a nice one. That's a wonderful bird to hit number 40 with. In full breeding regalia. Uh, now, of course, during the non-breeding season, he's a small, drab, brown little boy. But when it's time to chat up the ladies, he puts on his pinstripes and uh, even a bit of lipstick on his beak. And uh, he is off chasing the ladies. So quite a few of the bird species have a very different coloration and from their non-breeding to breeding season. And I'll, I will show you a picture of a male pintailed wider during the non-breeding season. Hopefully, as he is not nearly as impressive. Now, of course, those long tails can be quite cumbersome, and the only reason he does that is to attract females because it makes them much easier to catch, and um, it makes flying difficult, makes feeding difficult. But the ladies love a bit of a peacock. Aren't you a pretty boy? Now, while we're sitting quietly here, I'm also listening for that distinctive woo call of a uh, contact call of wild dogs. But there we go. Let's quickly. It's gonna be, I think the light might be a bit difficult. Tell me what, where I must move it, Brian. There we go. Well done, Brian. So there we go. That is a male pintailed wider outside of breeding season. He's brown. He's drab. He's just another LBJ, but he really comes out of his shell in the summer. Well, that's a lovely bird to get to number 40 with. Now I'm just trying to listen carefully. There's Impala relaxed. The hippo is watching us. <gasps> There's a a common bird I should have pressing the ladies. He's, he's doing his flight display over a female. Look at me, 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 pretty lady. Look at me. I'm the best looking male. I'm the best. I'm the best. You have to choose me. Choose me. Choose me. Choose me. Choose me. Choose me. Oh. <laughs> So there, that, that was a, a really, really, really lovely p display of, from a male pintailed wider trying to attract the attentions of a female. Um